Welcome to another feature presentation for Cobalt Touch. This time it's about position autoscaling. What might that be? So maybe you know the problem. You have an iPhone game and you like to adapt it to iPad screen size or even just the iPhone 5 widescreen devices. And of course, um, what if you wanted to have a landscape app uh, or game and you also want to display something in the portrait mode, you would have to redesign your entire screen layout. Auto scaling in Cobalt Touch works like this. You first design your view for a specific resolution. Usually that's uh, going to be the lowest supported resolution, for example, landscape 480, 320. And then you enable auto scaling of specific views, which are Cocos nodes. And when, that, when that's done, the positions of these views are automatically scaled up to the current device's screen resolution. This, this might be um, a portrait 32586 on an iPhone 5 or 1024 by 768 on an iPad or any other resolution. Um, it also works on Mac, of course. So here's a demo of auto scaling. First, I'd like to show you auto scaling on an iPhone, in this case, the iPhone simulator. You see it's a regular screen, etc., etc. Now, what happens um, if I rotate it to portrait? It realigns all the nodes, or the sprites in this case, and labels, and, and even the moving sprites are automatically repositioned and they continue on their path. So, let's run this again on an iPad. And as you can see, the view has al already scaled itself up to the iPad screen resolution. And again, if I change the rotation, um, it automatically adapts it to landscape in this case. And back to portrait. So that's wonderful. Last but not least, um, the same app running on a Mac. In this case, it's a, a 16 by 9 aspect ratio window, I think it's 1400 by 800 or something like that. Um, so you can see the uh, sprite positions and label positions, they have automatically rearranged themselves. So let's return to how this works in code. First you need to create an instance of the KD Autoscale controller, which is done in the usual Cobalt Touch way and added to as a subcontroller. And um, the only thing you need to do is to set the design resolution, which is basically the reference resolution um, for which you will be designing and positioning your nodes. So basically you treat all the largest screen sizes in this case as the same size of the iPhone 480 by 320. And um, to enable auto scaling, you for example, uh, create a sprite view controller in Cobalt Touch, and um, you only need to add this one line where you add or um, call the auto scale node method with a root node on the auto scale controller, and you also um, set the scale properties, which in this case is um, just the position. Um, this may be extended further in the future. And to center your node on the screen, you set it to um, 240 by 160. This is half the iPhone screen size. And if you run this on an iPad or widescreen iPhone or on the Mac in any window size, um, this node will always be centered in the window because the um, design resolution is 480 by 320, which is um, twice um, the position here. So basically, you just treat your nodes from then on as being on a 480 by 320 screen. And you also specify all um, move um, positions, etc., within the same design resolution sizes. So basically, you don't need to manually upscale any positions anymore. There are some things that are good to know, um, which is um, auto scaling works transparently with all nodes and actions, which means. Um, you just keep treating nodes and actions as usual. Just make sure you use um, the design resolution as a reference and don't uh, try to do your own upscaling. And positions of auto-scaled nodes uh, remain the same on any device. So the position property of the previous node, which was centered on the screen, which was 240 by 160, 
it will be the same position property or the position property will have the same values on the iPad as well um, because the upscaling is only done during rendering. And um, that also means if you get a touch on an iPad device, for example, which may be at um, a location greater than the re design resolution, you need to convert those touch locations back to your design resolution. There's a um, convenience method, method available in the KD Autoscale controller, which allows you to just like convert to GL in director, um, allows you to convert this touch location to your design resolution and then you can do hit detection for example. So that's basically it. I hope you like this feature and um, if you do sign up for Cobalt Touch I'd appreciate it. Thank you.